Welcome to Los Angeles. I've done my stereotypical British thing of go straight down to the beach and get slightly burnt. You lot obviously know quite well that I'm interested in my bikes and they are the key part of my life. If you hear a hissing noise, it's the aircon going on and off. That noise. I do have a rental car while I'm out here, but there are countless Ducatis, Harleys, MV Augustas, all sorts going past me and I am dying to get on the bike. As you can see here, I have my old showy helmet. I don't want to bring my Tour X4 on a flight. Um, so I brought that with me. I need to mount a new GoPro mount to the front of this. That'll be in a coming video. And I also brought my bike gear. So first port of call, that one's for you, David. We are gonna get renting. I asked all of my Instagram followers where I should rent bikes from. If you can rent bikes, what's the easiest way of doing it? Most of the responses to that were Twisted Road, so I'm gonna give them a shot. So in this video, I'm gonna bring you guys along. I was gonna say teach you guys how, but some wanna go, oh, you did it wrong. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me in finding, renting, and riding a bike in LA for the first time. If you're interested, stick around. So here we go, Twisted Road. Let's go onto their website. The way this works is that you basically, you're renting someone's bike. If you are someone, for example, similar to my dad, who has a bike or maybe more than one bike that you only get to ride for maybe a couple of weekends a year or you always have something that's taking up more of your time or a list from my mum. For example, I don't expect you to have a list from my mum, but I'm using my dad as the analogy here. If you've got a list from my mum, I want words with you. A list of things that you need to get done before you're allowed to ride your bike. What Twisted Road do is say, instead of your bike sitting idle in the garage, you can get paid for someone else to use it. My first thoughts with this was a kind of, mm, am I gonna get someone's bike that's a bit naff or is it not well looked after? Um, I don't really particularly know, we will find out. Um, but all of the reviews look very, very good. If you want any sort of accreditation to it, Ari Henning of Revzilla, or was of Revzilla, he has a Kawasaki Versus which he rents through this. I have already created an account on uh, Twisted Road. It's very simple, you just sort of, you just put in all your information, all your login details, uh, you put in your driving license number, where you're from, all that kind of thing. We get one free day of riding when you book three or more, or 25% off if you book less than three days. I'm interested. It's currently Sunday the 24th of April, um, so I'm gonna do this for next weekend. Yeah, so, so, okay, so next weekend's still meant to be quite warm. Now, up here, you put in dates. So I am on, we are on the 24th here, so let's go for Saturday. And just hit apply. Now, one thing I found with this before is it, if you put in a specific area, it won't quite come up. For me, this is almost like if you are based in London, for example, and someone has put their bikers available in Clapham, it won't come up for some reason. Not sure why, but I mean, it doesn't seem to make much of a difference. So here we go. I've basically put in Santa Monica um, as a rough area. You get a price bracket, you get a style of bike, so whether you want a cruiser, whether you want a sports bike or whatever, brand, and then you obviously get more, more filters as well, which will allow, allow you to choose a newer or an older bike, uh, and then a distance. On the right here, you've got a map. You can zoom in on that, and that will show you roughly where bikes are based. Then you can click on them, and then that will just show you bikes that are available. So there's an MT10 for example for $70 a day. It's been ridden 16, it's had 16 journeys on it, all five star reviews. Uh, there's a 2005 VFR 800, which is again 14 stars, 50 pound a day, pretty good. The one that I'm interested in and the one that I think I'm gonna go for, primarily because it's a shop, is here in West Hollywood. There's a company called Motor for All. They rent bikes through Twisted Road. What I think I might do myself is 
try and find a bike for motor for all because I think it's just a shop that gives you peace of mind. You know the bike's gonna be better looked after or there's a higher chance it's gonna be better looked after, should I say. And then yes, you get these. 60 pound a day for a Vulcan, 70 pound a day for a 1100 Scrambler, uh, Ducati Scrambler that is, S1000R. Now these bikes change quite a lot. You've got a V4S Ducati 2022 model for $180 a day. It's obviously quite expensive. And I'm a bit of a knob, so I'm thinking more something along these lines. <laughs> but that's the kind of thing you're looking at. Ooh. A 2084. Oh, look at it. 2021 Aprilia Tuono V4. It's my 30th while I'm out here. I'm gonna book that on my 30th. Emma's gonna be out here as well, but she can deal with the fact that I'm gonna go out on a tour now. Then you also get all of the reviews as well. So this guy was on the MT-09, this guy's on the Ducati Scrambler, Tuono 660. I'm being drawn towards this 2020 R9T just because I know how good they are. And it's got a half decent sized tank, so I can actually go and mess around on it a bit. So I'm just going to book it for the day for now. Car parking at site, so there's street parking available. But what I might do is just get an Uber there. Daily mileage limit, so you get a mileage limit, which is 150 miles a day, which should be plenty. They offer full line of rental helmets, jackets, gloves. Proceed to check out. So I've set a pickup time and a drop off time. Insurance. Cost effective minimum basic coverage while saving money, relax and ride with solid comfort. Most popular, peace of mind, ride the world's strongest protection plan. So, I mean, $44 a day isn't a lot. So you've got different levels of insurance here. You've got minimum, which is state, state minimum liability insurance, 25K of damage covers, 2,500 uh, max out of pocket for damage. So the standard is damage and theft whereas the minimum is just damage. And then the premium is up to a million of liability insurance, 25K of damage and theft coverage, and the thousand pound max out of pocket damage. For the sake of it, it's LA. I've never ridden in LA before, so I think I'm gonna go peace of mind, go for the full package, done. Do I want ride roadside assistance? Probably for five pound per day fee and yes, tire protection. For $10, why not? There you go, so that brings my total to just shy of $200. So what is that in the UK money? 156 pound. 156 pound to rent a BMW R9T 2020 model, essentially all day. That is 10 o'clock in the morning pickup and a 5 p.m. drop off. Full premium insurance cover, tire protection and roadside assistance. I'm gonna complete this bit without you guys looking because I just got my card details. There we go. So, uh, David S has 24 hours to respond to your rental request. All I need to do now is wait for him to get back to me. So I will see you in a different set of clothing. I'm gonna order myself some food. Enjoy. Enjoy. Oh, right, we are on the road. I'm on the road in LA on a bike. I'm actually quite excited about this. Oh, it's nice to have a breeze in my jacket. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I kind of miss having some uh, aircon right now. I'm wa wearing my Knox jacket, which is basically aircon, but it's really warm. Here we go, I've, I've finally got myself on a bike in LA. It's, uh, it's an odd one, 
if I'm honest. I feel at home because I'm on a bike. That's probably the only way to say it. I feel really happy I finally got myself on a bike. These roads are really crap. <laughs> I was speaking to one of my subscribers, a guy called Jeremy. Well, actually there was a couple of them to be fair that said it. And I was talking about getting a sports bike. And uh, <laughs> a few of them just said, yeah, probably don't. And I went, why, why not? It's uh, LA, you, don't, you only get to do it sort of once kind of thing. <laughs> and uh, they went, yeah, you won't want to do that once you've seen the roads. <laughs> so yeah, thank you very much for uh, for joining me on the uh, on the R9T in LA. I've obviously got a couple of videos coming up on this and uh, on another bike in a few weeks' time, which is going to be a bigger trip, which I am well excited for. So if you are interested, hit subscribe and all that sort of stuff. If you're one that's always around, thank you very much, and uh, I will see you in next week's video.